Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about uh, installing and using Octave. I I've uh, done it on Windows machines, it's possible to do it on Windows machines, and if there's interest I'll make another video on how to do that. I did that on my computer at work. And uh, this is Ubuntu, this is the main computer I run at home because uh, I've had issues with uh, virus uh, malware attacks and Ubuntu is more resistance to that, I, I, I believe. Um, so if you're an engineer or a physicist or someone who likes to run MATLAB, which you know most engineers do, because I mean let's face it, it's great. It's good for doing uh, big uh, matrices and mathematical things and plotting stuff out, uh, running scripts. You can write your own scripting or programming language to do data analysis, all sorts of great stuff. And uh, but MATLAB is very expensive, and uh, there's actually a, a, a very free alternative to MATLAB which, which seems to be pretty good. I've been using it for a while and it seems to be pretty compatible with MATLAB and it's called Octave. And uh, so uh, there's a couple different ways to install it. You can install it through command line which I love using command line but uh, I just read something uh, on Google that uh, you can install it through Ubuntu Software Center. So let's click on that and uh, we'll take a look at uh, installing this and maybe run some scripts. Okay, so here's Ubuntu Soft Software Center. Usually I use apt-get, but uh, we'll try it this way this time. I mean, who doesn't like GUIs, right? <coughs> and so, it's loading up. And here is our uh, Ubuntu Software Center, and let's go up to here, and we'll try O-C-T-A-V-E Octave. And I believe this is it. GNU Octave, five stars. Install. Okay, whoa, look at that. It's creating an icon down here, right in our icon tray. And, um... It's got a little bar thing going up. Okay, so we need to put in our password, I guess, because they uh, have security here in Ubuntu. Or Linux, by the way. Okay, so I guess we'll just wait. Okay, so it says uh, it's installed now. So let's uh, click out of this guy and we'll go to GNU Octave. Okay, so this looks like the command line version of it. Okay, so we just installed Octave through uh, Ubuntu Software Center. You can also install it, install it through AppGet, and you can install it on Windows as well. And uh, we tried running it, and it came up uh, by default with only command line. Now, I like using the GUI, and uh, so I did a little search on the web. And let's, let's open up a terminal here. So we'll... Hmm. That doesn't look right. Let's open up a new terminal. Okay. And uh, found this command slash user slash bin slash octave. So this is telling it to go into the user binary uh, folders and then uh, go to octave and then the, you can uh, type this command after octave to, when you run it to force the GUI. And so we'll click that guy in and uh, it says welcome to Octave okay and it's gonna uh, okay so it's gonna do some setup allow Octave to connect to website uh, I guess we can allow it to do that okay and so here we go 
Okay, anyway, so... Let's hide that. And, uh, so here's Octave, and it's uh, similar to what you might be used to in MATLAB. And, uh, if I remember correctly, there is, uh, we can do a new script. So let's do that. Okay. So we have a new script here. And, um, let's go over to, uh, here I had a MathWorks website up with some MATLAB examples. So these are MathWorks examples for MATLAB. <coughs> and here's some plots. And uh, let's say we want to make a plot. Let's, let's view the source. Okay. So here's the plot. And here's the source code. So let me copy the source code. Control C. Oops, did I get it? Control C. Okay. And then we'll minimize this guy and we'll go to our uh, new script and we'll go just click the right mouse button there. So what we're doing is we have some rem statements, remark statements, and then we're defining some variables here, making a sine and a cosine, telling it to do figures. Usually I do like figure parentheses one, two, three, because I'll do a lot of figures, but it looks like they're just doing one figure, so that's that's optional to not have that. Uh, doing the plot, putting some grids on it, putting some axis, we're going to put titles, so this is going to be all fancy. And uh, I believe this is uh, save file and run. So let's try it. Uh, let's just call it test plot plot 1a and we'll just save that and uh, let's see I don't want it in the main directory oh, we'll just save it there for now okay Okay, so I guess we got to click on it again, and oh, there we go. I guess it was running twice, so it made two plots. And it looks like it worked with uh, standard MATLAB code, and so I've been reading on the web that it's very highly compatible with MATLAB uh, M files, and so you can take your favorite M files and plop it into Octave, free software, and see if they work. And if, you know, if they work, it's a bonus, and if it doesn't work, you know, it's free, so just a little bit of your time. But it looks like it's working pretty well. And uh, I guess that's all I was going to show in this video. If there's more interest, I'll make more videos. Uh, I, I am a MATLAB expert, among other things. MATLAB is a great program. Um, so anyway, this is Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.